Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Zach. And welcome back to our channel. Today, we are uh, eating around the world. Uh, the game plan today is kind of simple. Uh, the Food and Wine Festival has just started. It is uh, day two of that festival. We're here today to seek out places that we can eat and not blow our diet. We both do the keto diet, so we're going to go try some food booths and some options, which are keto options, here at or the Food and Wine Festival. As close to keto as we can get, because disclaimer, Disney doesn't make any of the nutritional macros or anything available for the festival foods. Right. So we're going based on the menu descriptions and pictures we've seen online from people that were here yesterday or items that are returning from previous years. Right. Um, and today we're trying specifically the items that you can have without modifications. So, you know, no taking off the bread, no, uh, dealing with sauces possibly being yay or nay. Um, these are things that we believe to be relatively keto friendly without having to do anything else to them. Exactly. What he said. Uh, we, we both now have these weird polarized lenses, so it looks <laughs> like we have no eyes, but hey, just... Let's go take a look at some of the food festivals. So this is an example of a modification, right? Normally we could have corned beef, but we can't have the crispy potatoes with it. So today we're not doing modifications. We may do that in a future trip. Today we're just trying to do straight out keto. So first up on our hit parade here today is the Impossible Meatballs. Uh, this is a plant-based meatball. Uh, I also got a lovely Pinot Noir to go with this. Uh, Zach also got the Impossible Meatball and a bottle of wine. Now, this I believe is a pesto sauce, so we're kind of in the clear there. I don't know about the underlying stuff there. There's some tomatoes, which I won't eat because I don't like tomatoes. Um, so let's try it and see what we think. You can't tell that's not meat. Okay, but does it taste good? <laughs> yeah, that's actually really good. It's really well seasoned. Um, the sauce adds a bit of a kick, and I really like it. It's very good. I disagree with Zach. I, I think it could use a little more seasoning, like especially a little more salt. But other than that, really, really good. It tastes like meat. Our next selection is the filet with the mushrooms. This comes from a Canadian booth. So, Zach, you're going to uh, try that. Tastes just as good as the filets you get down in the cellier. It's a much smaller filet than they've had in the years past, but still really, really good. So, kudos to them. Worth the price? Oh, yeah. Because you paid for it. <laughs> this is the lamb kebab. This is the chicken kebab. And although it's not strictly keto, it is very hot outside today, so I decided to get this cider flight, which is going to be three different ciders. Hopefully I will burn off the carbs by walking around and sweating. What is that? I'm pretty sure that's the ginger and turmeric yeah. uh, cider. How is it? Not really all that sweet, but it's also very refreshing and crisp. So a little spicy even. Very different from what I feel like a hard cider should taste like, but still very good. Okay. You're gonna eat your... Yes. Oh, this is just too... Well, you're supposed to pick it up with the stick. It's a kebab. You pick it up. <laughs> you don't know how to eat food on sticks. Leave me alone. Have you never been to a fair? favorite. It's a piece of grilled chicken on a stick with a little bit of a little bit of sauce. 
Okay, uh, first I'm going to try the uh, hibiscus cider. That's very nice. It's almost watermelon y, uh, watermelon y cider ish kind of good. It's actually quite good. Uh, and now let's try the lamb. It's actually quite good. It's got a lot of flavor to it, a lot of spices inside of the lamb. No, definitely a fan of that. That is that is more than just lamb on a stick. That's a quick, actually quite good. Well, good to know for next time. Okay, what are we doing? This is the charcuterie from Spain. Okay. Ooh, going for the uh, prosciutto all at once there, huh? Mm -hmm. So that was basically just a mouthful of prosciutto. <laughs> Good. Good prosciutto, yes. In fairness, the charcuterie has been, uh, this is a repeat from another year, so we've had it before, and we know it's quite good. Okay, this is the seafood salad, I believe, from also from Spain, which is uh, shrimp, mussels, and some olive and whatnot. So let's see what we got here. Ah! It's good. But? I feel like I didn't get the perfect fork full because I didn't get any olive on that, and I think the olive would have added some needed spice to that. Or flavor. It's very subtle. It's it's it's, it's very herby with the uh, bell peppers and stuff. It's good. Okay, so this is our last entree here. This is the pork rinds with uh, some kind of cheese sauce. Pimento. Pimento cheese sauce. Go ahead, try one. That's actually really good. And pork rinds by definition are a, an incredibly keto snack, so. I don't know necessarily about the cheese, but it seems fine to me. So, I lived in South Carolina for a little while, which is like the home of in pimento cheese. Really good pimento cheese. Really good pork rinds. Double thumbs up for our last meal of the day. I'm also stuffed. Okay, well that kind of puts a pin in today. Did I already say that? No. I think I already said that. That, that, puts, that wraps up our day at Epcot. So uh, all in all, I would say fairly successful. New camera, by the way, the lens isn't as wide, so it's kind of weird to have to like joggle around here. I, I always feel like I'm kind of jumping to get into shots because I'm shorter, but. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So yes, it. It, was a, it was a very good day here at, at the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2022, which runs for what feels like six years. <laughs> So we will be back um, to try a full day of uh, non-keto options because normally carbs don't count at Disney. We just wanted to give people some idea of what you could possibly have if you wanted to try to stay on diets. Yeah, it's true. Uh, and uh, quite honestly, after about three of these stops, I was full. So it's like I was really pushing those last couple keto, of stops. Uh, keto is a lot of meat and that fills you up real fast. It does. Anyway, if you like what we do on this channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Uh, and if you're not, why? Why aren't you? Uh, and uh, until next time, see you, see real, you real soon. soon. Oh, if you have any comments or things, leave them down below. Oh, I also forgot to mention that you can reach out to us on the socials. Their information is down below in the doobly-doo. Ha! We know how to film a YouTube video. <laughs>